Welcome to section number two in which we are going to cover all the fundamentals in order to understand the mass transfer principles. So this is just to ensure that you actually remember and have seen all the theoretical concepts that are required to understand the following theory. So first things first, we're going to be covering basic topics, vapor, gases, uh, ideal gas, what is vapor pressure, Dalton's law for partial pressures and so on. Then we continue with equilibrium, which in my opinion is one of the fundamental parts. If you get equilibrium, then most likely you are going to understand further theory. If you are having problems with the theoretical concept of equilibrium, how to model it, why equilibrium exists at all, then you're not going to understand quite well. So this is, in my opinion, one of the most important subsections. Then afterwards, we get to know how to relate theoretical uh, equations and numerical data into uh, diagrams or phase diagrams, which are very, very important. And I love that because it is very uh, graphical, as you can imagine, and it's visual aid for you to understand the equilibrium. Then we continue with models. We're going to see four main cases. Number one, ideal gas with ideal solution, which is the most common one to see. But of course, we need to at least know that there are other ways to model this. You can get real gas with an ideal solution. You can get a ideal gas with a real solution, or you can get the worst case scenario, which is real gas and real solution. Those are just theoretical concepts for you to understand when can you apply your theoretical concepts or basic ideas and when you should not do it. Then we continue with the deviations, talking about real gases and real solutions, expect deviations, you should be able to at least understand, okay, this is a Asia trap, I cannot use my basic concepts. So either skip it or at least know that you need to treat it uh, with another idea or concept. And then we get into gas solubility. It's very important to not only understand the vapor liquid part, but also the gas liquid part. Here comes Henry's law, which is different from Raoult's law used in vapor liquid. And well, very important to understand the idea or overall idea of equilibrium, but one thing is vapor liquid equilibrium, and then is the solubility of a gas in liquid, okay? So I don't want to make this video longer. For now, I think it's good enough for you. If you think that you already know this, you can skip this section. This is just a review, but I'm pretty sure you are going to learn a few new things. So I'll see you in the next lectures.